Hi there, today we are talking about the six steps you need to take to create an organized filing system. filing system can be one of the most overwhelming, biggest chores that there are. I would put that up with cleaning out the garage. I, nobody wants to create a filing system. Nobody wants to spend their weekend trying to figure out how to conquer all of their paperwork. So in this video, I am going to share just the six simple steps that you need to take um, to create an organized filing system for yourself. These steps are not overwhelming. They're quite simple. And if you follow these steps, you will have an organized filing system in virtually no time at all. So my first tip for you is just to gather up the paperwork, gather up everything that you want to put in either a filing cabinet, in a filing basket, in a filing um, container, whatever you are using to create your filing system, just gather up the paperwork that you want to put in there. My second tip or the second step that you need to take in order to create an organized filing system is to categorize your paperwork. So you're going to have all your paperwork and it's time to kind of separate that into categories so you can start the filing process. I tend to start with big categories and then make subcategories within those categories. So maybe you have a category for your home and maybe you want to create subcategories with that, like uh, um, home insurance. Maybe if you belong to an HOA, you're going to want paper, you're going to want to file for that. Maybe you want to put all of your utilities under home. Maybe you have warranty books. Maybe you have different workbooks that go along with appliances that you want to file away under the home. So that's where having a nice, having everything separated into categories is going to help you create an organized filing system. So tip number three or uh, step number three, you need to give your paperwork a home. So I kind of hinted on that in the first step or the first tip is, are you going to be using a filing cabinet? Are you going to be using a basket, a container, maybe one of those accordion filers? So it's important to create a home for your paperwork. All right, so my fourth tip is to create labels. Now you can use tape labels, sticker labels that they have at our home stores or like big box stores like Target or places like that, where you can get the labels and put it on your um, folders. You can do that. Or I've also created um, done for you uh, file labels that you can print out on your own. It already has categories for you and it's all done for you. All you need to do is print it out on sticker paper, all done for you. Another option is you can just, you know, have a, have a pen and write down your categories and put it on the folder that you need to set categories for yourself. So now that you have a home for your paperwork and you've categorized it and you've created labels, it's now time to file it away. So that is the fifth tip or step that you need to take in order to create an organized filing system. So just file it away. That's as easy as that. So my final tip or the final step is create a rotating schedule. Instead of having a filing cabinet overflowing with paperwork, you need to have some type of system in place so you're rotating out the old and putting in the new. So something I would suggest you do is 
keep a year of paperwork. Now, taxes, things like that, taxes and bank um, items, maybe you wanna save for longer, and maybe I'll get into that in another video, but what I like to do is keep one year's worth of of bills and bank statements filed away in the filing cabinet. So once uh, April's bills come in of this year, April of last year's come out. And if it is a bill, I usually will shred it. Only hold on to your stuff for six months. Great, if you wanna hold on to it for a year, fantastic. So it's up to you, just create that rotating schedule. And if you are doing this continuously, you're not gonna have a filing system that is overflowing with stuff. Now, if you want your own filing labels and a checklist and workbook of this video, then follow the link below and download your own filing, organized filing workbook. If you would like your chance to win your own labels personalized for you, plus personalized workbooks for the month of April, and my Declutter in 20 ebook, then you can enter the April giveaway. And how you enter is by subscribing to this channel, leaving a comment below, and sharing this video with your friends. So those are the six steps that you need to take in order to for you to create an organized filing system. Don't forget that you can download your own labels here and you can enter to win the April giveaway. You can enter more than once. I love seeing your comments. Thank you so much and I will see you again soon.